Mabuhai, Kamostakeo, and welcome to a not so good video. So I've just noticed that unfortunately this neutral linear has rot. I'm going to try and save it, but it doesn't look good. I think the rot has advanced right into the middle and probably travelled quite far up the top as well. Yeah, I noticed it was really loose in its pot and then had a closer look at it. You see all that white stuff in there? I thought that was mealybug at first, but that's rotted so bad it's actually started to grow fungus on it, so that's not good. See most of the roots and that are completely rotted away. Yeah, this cactus did actually start developing issues towards the end of last year. It did flower in the summertime. So I don't know if you can see there's some discoloration and on top as well. It was actually exposed to some cold nights, so I don't think that's done it any good either. So yeah, with the cold nights and soil could have still been damp as well. I think that's contributed to it developing rot. The issue with rot is you don't often notice until it's too late. Yeah, it's a little upsetting because it's quite a mature plant and Neochilinia aren't the fastest growing cactus. But these things do happen, unfortunately. It's one of the challenges of growing cacti in this type of climate, especially in the winter with damp weather and high humidity. But anyway, we'll see what we can do for it. But I think this plant's final resting place will be in the bin, unfortunately. And it's going to be a bit difficult to make a clean cut on this as well with how the spines are. So I'm going to have to cut them off around where I want to make the cut. Yeah, you can just see how right this is. It's Kebab skewer just goes right in there, look. And this is quite squidgy, quite far up, so... Not looking good. Right, the spines weren't the easiest to remove, so... Nah, this is completely right. Not good. It's unsavable. Like I said, with rot, that really does travel fast if you don't catch it soon enough. And this bottom part has just gone completely to mush. Not a great smell either. <laughs> Give you another look here, you can see that's travelled pretty much all the way to the top of the plant. There's nothing that can be done to save this. Well, not much more to be said really. I knew pretty much this wasn't going to be saved anyway, but I thought I'd just share it with you anyway. Like I said, we all lose plants, and especially this time of year as well, it is a bit tricky sometimes. May have been able to save it if I would have caught it earlier, but uh, we'll never know. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Salam at Bok Bye for now.